Hello, Scorpio, and welcome to Fifi and Gigi's Tarot Readings. Thank you so much, Scorpio, for joining me. It is always a pleasure to do your tarot reading. I always look forward to read for you, Scorpio. So let's get started, Scorpio. Let's have a look at career and finances. So for those who are new, my name is Gigi. Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Also, don't forget to check out FifiGigiTarot.com. You can sign up to our newsletter. You can get a personal tarot reading. doesn't matter where you are in the world. Or you can also learn tarot from our master tarot course that is available right now. It is self-paced and 100% online. So let's get started, Scorpio. First, Scorpio, I will be using three different decks, but I want to look at the major energies surrounding career and money for you. So let's begin. We'll be using the mermaid tarot, looking at the big energies. We do have the hanged man. Okay, so the hanged man, feeling that we're not moving forward nor backwards. If this resonates with you, this energy, it's calling upon for you now more than ever to grasp this opportunity and think about what else can you do? What haven't you tried yet? What haven't you thought of? It's about adapting, searching, sacrificing. The moon. Okay. So the moon sometimes can bring worries. It can sometimes show there's a bit of anxiety because we cannot see what's happening in the shadows. So sometimes it is required from us to go a little bit deeper than what we see on the surface. What haven't we found out yet now? It's time to go a little bit deeper and ask questions to give us clarity. And we also have the Six of Pentacles. Excellent. That is money, of course. Money being divided, no more, no less. So think of it as a very, very generous offer, Scorpio. Money coming towards you a lot more than what you can expect. So this is excellent already. Wonderful. Okay. I do like seeing the Six of Pentacles. Let's have a look at your tarot deck. Let's have a look. Now, don't forget also with the moon, it's all about cycles. You're going through some sort of cycle at the moment where you may feel it, may be feeling stuck, but money is definitely coming towards you. Okay, what do we need to know, please, in terms of money and career? Behind the deck, we do have the High Priestess, the Five of Wands, and the Magician. So, Scorpio, you are manifesting what it is that you really, really want. However, though, there's a lot of things that haven't happened yet. Because remember, the High Priestess is about mystery, secrets, of course. Five of Wands, don't worry about the competition around you or the troublemakers. You are on your way to something better, especially with the Magician. You are manifesting your ultimate career, money. What do we have? Four of pentacles. Okay. So in terms of money, it's time to get our affairs into order. It is time to start saving money. Watch where your money goes. Every penny, whether it means budgeting, forecasting. We also have the nine of cups. Excellent. Wishes coming true. Give it within nine months. There's going to be a reason to celebrate a reason to be super happy to celebrate a milestone. Now, nine cups, yes, it does mean nine months, but it also means that you never gave up. Like all the work that you have done up until now, it's been worth it. Eight of wands, excellent. There is excellent news coming towards you. This is the minor arcana of the chariot. Now, these news could be coming from overseas, a different country different state or location, but I can definitely guarantee you that there is excellent news traveling towards you. 
especially when it, if it comes to projects. Because remember, wants do represent projects, ideas, any anything that you're working towards, even if it's a side hustle, you're going to receive good news. It's going to create butterflies in your stomach because you have a lot of passion and drive to what you're working towards, Scorpio. We have the ten. Ten of Swords. Okay. Sometimes with the Ten of Swords, it can mean hitting rock bottom, things not working out, things falling apart. But you have to remember with the Ten of Swords, even though sometimes when we do fall down, it's how you pick yourself up. That's the real challenge. How you pick yourself up, you dust yourself off and you keep moving forward. So even though sometimes things don't work out, See it as a blessing because it could be something better for you, Scorpio. The moon. Now, the moon has come out twice here. Interesting. If you feel sometimes, Scorpio, that things don't add up, things you feel like your intuition is telling you that something's not right, maybe because you are right. So with the moon, do not be impulsive. Do not reveal anything right now. Keep your mouth closed. Because sometimes with the moon, there could be certain things that are hidden from us. You also have the sun. Amazing. Blessings, abundance, stability, foundation. You could be traveling to a hot and sunny place. These good news may be coming from a place that's very hot. But the sun is a blessing. And don't worry, the sun lowers the intensity of any challenging cards. Think of like the moon and also the Ten of Swords. You're going to be fine, Scorpio. Let's clarify these cards. So in terms of money and career, something is telling you to start saving money very soon. And again, it could be because of travel. There's going to be celebrations, excellent news coming your way. Be wary of people that you do not trust. Don't tell them anything. Keep this closed. Okay. Let's find out. What do we need to know, please? Let's go a little bit deeper and further into this reading, please. The Four of Pentacles. Yeah. We have the Five of Wands. So sometimes it can seem a little bit difficult to save up money. And it can seem like, like you're trying. You're, it's like you're having this love and hate relationship when it comes to money. You're trying to save up. But sometimes, especially with the five or ones, things can break down. There can be challenges around you when you're trying to save up money. And all of a sudden, something breaks down. And you're like, oh, my God. Yeah, see, we also have the devil here. So when it comes to the devil, be careful of self-sabotage, thinking that I can't save money can't go ahead in life. I can't do anything when it comes to money. No, you can. Absolutely. This is just a heads up. Be careful with scammers online. Be careful with someone trying to manipulate you, trying to trick you, trying to offer you something that seems too good to be true. So just be careful with that. There's a lot of scammers out there and, you know, each time they're getting better and better, and especially how they're using AI now. So just a heads up, Scorpio. Nine of Cups. After so much rejection, we also have the Empress. So I feel like some of you may be trying to also change jobs, get a side hustle off the ground, come and make, make it come alive. But remember, with the Five of Pentacles, it can also mean there could be money lost sometimes, money going somewhere where you don't want it to go. Rejections, even like if you're changing jobs, trying to um, change jobs, but you're receiving a lot of rejections, do not worry. You have the Empress and also the Nine of Cups. The Empress shows that you will be giving birth to ideas. Pay attention because sometimes ideas can come from your spirit team. They throw you some ideas. Don't ignore them. But do not worry about the Five of Pentacles. You will recover. You will pick yourself up, Scorpio. The Eight of Wands. We have the death card. So good news will be transforming. You're going to be leaving your old life behind because of these good news. Yep. 
also the seven of swords, you're leaving behind toxic people. I feel like some of you are currently in a place, in an environment where there's competition, there's toxic people, gossipers, even people that want to copy you, steal your ideas. Because you have the death card, you're leaving all of that behind because you're moving on with the eight of wands. It's changes. Something is going to end. It could be a job, of course. It could be something that you're not happy with and you're finally moving forward. The Ten of Swords. We have the King of Pentacles and also the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so again, it could be a situation where things are not working out in a job. You're probably not getting paid what you're owed. You're probably receiving challenging news from the King of Pentacles. Remember, when a door closes, it means that there's something else better for you. Yep. You also have the Four of Cups, feeling a little bit bored, uninspired. It's going to be okay. You also have temperance. Take each day as it comes. Be patient with yourself. Because I feel like there may be an opportunity from the King of Pentacles, which is Earth Sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. It may give you an excellent opportunity. The Eight of Pentacles, it's showing that you are working very hard and this person is giving the money that you deserve. So do not worry about the Ten of Pentacles. If you've lost your job, if things are not working out, there will be an opportunity to recover from the Ten of Pentacles. Be patient with yourself and take every day, day by day. Be gentle with yourself. The moon, don't worry about insecurities, stress. You have the Ten of Cups and also the Wheel of Fortune. You're going to have emotional fulfillment. And with the Wheel of Fortune, consider yourself, Scorpio, extremely lucky. Be just being at the right place at the right time, applying for this job at the right time, seeing something at the right time. Now, the Wheel of Fortune is also travel. The sun is also travel. You may be going somewhere, shifting, moving. But whatever it is that you're doing, Scorpio, don't ignore your ideas because they're going to bring you emotional fulfillment. The sun, we also have the six of cups and also the ten of pentacles. What a recovery. Look at this. Even here, you had the five pentacles. Like I mentioned earlier, there could even be a bit of money loss, things breaking down. You recover everything with the ten of pentacles. Because someone that you haven't heard from a long, from a long time is going to give you an opportunity. So think about, for example, even if you're applying for jobs and you don't hear back from people, you will be hearing back from someone that's going to be offering you, well, an opportunity you cannot refuse. So what's happening here, Scorpio? Yes, I feel like there's going to be some ups and downs, nothing that you cannot handle, of course. I feel like you're going to be removing yourself from toxic energies, toxic people, especially people that how can I say this? I feel like with you, Scorpio, you have a bit of a gift, a skill, and there's people around you that may be jealous, may be intimidated by your skills and your dedications, and they feel, obviously, they feel really threatened by you. Don't worry. You're going from strength to strength, and you may be relocating, maybe changing jobs. You're going somewhere brand new. Wherever it is you're going, I guarantee you, it's going to make you so much happier. So if you are unhappy where you are right now, maybe it is time for a change. Maybe where you are at the moment, it's not giving you any inspiration and you're not even moving forward. It's like this, wherever it is that you are in your career, you're just stuck at the moment. It is time to change then. Change can be scary, but without change, nothing happens. So Scorpio, my advice is go for it. Take that leap of faith. Believe in yourself because wherever it is you're going, you will have the Ten of Pentacles. So, in terms of career and money, yes, there will be changes, an opportunity, but this is all going to be thanks to you by taking action and really putting yourself out there, getting out of your comfort zone. By getting out of your comfort zone, you open doors to opportunities, and people will see this absolutely. Thank you so much, Scorpio, for joining me. I wish you an absolutely wonderful day. Definitely power to you. And I will see you at the next reading. Bye for now.